How's it going, everybody? This is Beat the Bush. This is the Chin's 3000 watt hybrid inverter that can support various kinds of batteries up to 24 volts. I purchased this on my own, so I'm gonna give an evaluation of this thing. Normally, you expect everything to work okay. In this case, I cannot get the AC to charge my batteries no matter what settings I do. I've contacted customer support, they gave me some parameters to put in. So I think if you're using this in an RV, you have no chance to ever plug it into the AC usually. So you might not even notice that this feature is not in this inverter. Let me show you the entire setup first. I got two batteries in series. They can each output 120 amps. So together it can output three kilowatts. I have the AC plug over here going into the inverter. AC going out of this inverter going through a 25 amp breaker and I can plug various things into this plug. There's a double pole disconnect switch for the entire battery. I have 400 watts worth of solar going through this breaker into the inverter. Now we can remove this panel to take a look. The interface is not shown on the product page. Depending on the model, it might ask you to use either a 10 gauge or 8 gauge wire going in over here. This one is the 3000 watt 110 volt version. So the AC input needs to be 8 gauge. The AC output also needs to be 8 gauge. The battery needs to be 2 gauge wire and the solar input needs to be 8 gauge if you're doing up to 40 amps. So I have slightly smaller cable here because I only plan to do up to 20 amps charging. There's an 8 gauge output here, 8 gauge input for the solar. These wires are not included. You got to supply it yourself. These two cables down here is a 2 gauge cable I had to buy myself. But those connectors you see in there, it's supplied by this unit. It includes those connectors and also the two bolts that bolts into the device. So when you buy these cables, make sure you buy 8 gauge wires and also 2 gauge wires for the battery. And I can see the MPPT adjust the voltage down to 63 volts. Right now it's outputting 10.5 amps, but it's not 10 and a half amps out of the solar panels. It's 10 and a half amps into the battery. So this is at a different voltage. You can't multiply these two to get kilowatt. The actual kilowatt is over here, 290 watts from the solar. Right now I'm consuming 40 watts because there's 10 and a half amps coming in. Nine amps of that is going into the battery to charge it. I have a hairdryer over here to use a lot of electricity. If I turn it on, about 1.5 kilowatt here. AC output, 12 amps. You see it stopped charging the battery and it's actually pulling energy out of the battery instead. Battery output is about 50 amps, 30 amps. But here's the thing, I want to start charging it from the AC and this setting should do it. Mains priority charging. When the mains charging fails, the PV charging is started. So even with 250 watts of solar coming in, it should give priority to the mains to charge the battery, and it's not doing that. So at the input of the inverter, you're getting 124 volts. It's getting power, but it's not using it. So I can even try to force it to charge by turning off the solar. And right now, input battery, zero. Nothing going into the battery. Input battery, zero. What does work is pass through though, if I turn it on, it's pulling energy straight from the AC right there. Last three pages says 160, 24 volt, three kilowatt inverter, 5.28.0.00. So that's the firmware version. This is actually the second inverter I'm trying and both of them, the AC would not charge my battery. If you plan to never charge the battery with AC, this might be a unit that you can still use, I guess, because it's fairly low price. Personally, I would rather have the same price and everything works in it, right? Also note that it does not include the communication module that connects to this RS-485 port right down here. That thing connects to Wi-Fi and then you can monitor some things on your app. It's not included in this. For now, they don't actually offer a thing to pair with this. You might have to buy one from another brand. I'm not too sure how well that would work, if they're compatible even. Maybe they'll update the firmware later on. If you guys are still interested, check out my Amazon affiliate link down in the video description below. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.